Hello there. Right, so um, what we're doing today is a bit of <coughs> a bit of Dynamesh booleans. So you can insert um, various objects to do booleans, but if you've already got a model that you're bringing in front of a program, then it just becomes really um, a little bit tedious because you have to do uh, if you have to make it like an insert, bro, it's just like there's a better way. So here we go. Right. So this is probably um, already been covered, but I forgot. <laughs> so <laughs> now I've found out how to do it again. Um, let's do it again. So um, I've got my uh, object that I want to be cut into at the top, which is my uh, ball, pink ball in the middle, uh, uh, as you're looking at here. I've renamed it Dynamesh, and if you scroll down. And we go under here, we'll go to Dynamesh and we'll make it a Dynamesh. Okay, and we'll leave it at 128, and that'll be fine. Um, so what you need to do next is we need to go and uh, make some cutting objects. So let's go down to cutter number one, which is going to be this ball. You can merge these all together, and sometimes it works. But I've found that having all these three cutting objects as one object, these two cut and this one didn't so let's just do it one at a time and hopefully it's going to work all great so one let's make it a negative object here but um, also now we've got it selected go down to the poly groups down the bottom here and we need to say um, group as dynamesh sub and click on that you'll see it turn white <coughs> okay and need to go and select your Dynamesh object, just make sure it's still switched on to Dynamesh, which it is. Okay, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to go merge down. So we're going to merge down and say OK. OK, and then hold down the control key and click and drag, and that should cut it away. There you go. How cool is that? Okay, so all we're going to do now is just repeat the process. So this guy is going to be negative. Going to go down to polygroups again. Going to say uh, group as Dynamesh sub which we have. Okay, I'm going to go back to the top again. And got this Dynamesh object selected, make sure it's still a Dynamesh, it is. And then I'm just going to go merge down again. So, merge down. So, yeah. And then hold down control, click and drag, and that does another cut. Yeah, so we've got these two cuts. I mean, you know, we've got polygroups as well, which is quite cool. So, again, press cutter number 3. Uh, make him a sub. I don't know if you have to do this, but I think we do. It's all a bit vague somewhere. Um, down to polygroups again. We're going to say group as Dynamesh sub. So it is. It turns white. Um, notice when we clicked on the minus thing, it didn't turn white. So I think we have to do this. Um, then go back up to here. Go click on Dynamesh again, which we've got. Make sure it's still Dynamesh in. And again, all we're going to do now is merge down and say, yep. Yeah. It turns white, hold down control key, click and drag. And there we go, we've got our subdeed or um, sort of sub subtracted uh, Boolean objects. Okay, so now we can then go to Dynamesh, switch it off, and we're going to go to Z Remesher and we're going to select um, target polygons. It says five, it doesn't mean five polygons, it means how many thousands of polygons do you want it to be? and I'm going to say 0.8. I want it to be 800 polygons, hit Z remesher and sit and wait for a bit and see how long it takes. It might take a while because we are we are recording as well. So there you go. So the, the beauty of this is you don't have to make an insert brush and then drag it onto the screen and then try and position it. You can actually bring in your models from your external program already aligned. Yeah, You can break them up into separate layers, turn some versions into um, negative ones and then cut away. So all this clicking and dragging to move it and rotate and place it into the right position that you already had two minutes ago, you don't need to sort of do. And a little bit of luck, this sh should look okay once it's done. We're nearly there. Take a little bit longer. It's an old quad core. It takes a little while. Um, yeah, we will get a new PC at some point, but not today. Bom, 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 bom. Boom, there we go. Okay, so what we've got now is a very cool topologized mesh. How cool is that? Pretty cool. And I have to say, <laughs> it's awesome. 
there you go. So um, then when you finish with that, you just need to go and export it. I'm going to say uh, export, and we'll call this uh, DynaMesh object uh, ball ball thingy, and that'll do. And then we can then import that into your 3D app of choice, and we can uh, carry on with there. I think that'll do, won't it? That's it. Easy. Woohoo! There you go. And uh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, last thing. Uh, you can do um, when you do your merge down thing. If you don't do, if you don't go into um, poly groups and do uh, sub subtractive, it's it's by default adds it. So if you want to do adds, you just merge down. Okay. But this is how to do cutting, and then you have to do your group masked as Dynamesh sub. And there you go. And that's it then. That will actually do. We're done. Time for a cup of tea. See you in a bit. Cheers. Bye.